Go. Go. You blow dried it from under me. Go. I have had, literally, I swear to you, the best recovery that anyone has ever had from a breast lift and breast augmentation. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, mama. Good job, dada. No, mama. Dada. Mama. Hi, guys. <laughs> what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be vlogging with the babes. Yes, with the babes. Look who I am holding very carefully, very gently. But look who I'm holding. Yes, my girl. So, I'm not going to lie, I've been hard. Oops. <laughs> I've been hardcore bribing her with these little meringues. You guys know the ones I love from Trader Joe's. No, no, no. Chloe's going to get it, baby. No, Chloe. Oh, are you sharing or is Chloe going to get it? Okay. I've been hardcore bribing Blakely. I have absolutely no shame. Hunter tried to take a meringue away from her. She started sobbing hysterically and then sat on my lap for the first time in a week. Happiest moment of my entire life. She's coming around. She just like knows I'm not gonna pick her up. But anyways, okay, I'm rambling. So in today's video, we're gonna be vlogging with the babes. I am also going to show you guys this absolutely gorgeous pajama set that I have on right now. It is from a company called Lily and Silk. And I can honestly say, I don't think I've ever put something so like nice and high quality on my body. I will be showing you guys all of this later in the video. As of right now, you guys are going to be so impressed. I literally, I did this. I washed my hair by myself, which I cannot believe that I did that. Hunter went to the gym and the babies were napping. Don't worry, the gym was close to our house, so I could have just called Hunter if the babies woke up, but they did not. He got home in time to save them from the cribs. I showered while he was gone, and I am gonna have him blow dry my hair because he's a gem, and I love him so much. He's holding the camera right now. <laughs> then we're just gonna play, huh? I'm also gonna give you guys a major update on my one-week post-op. It's technically eight days, nine days, what day is it? I'm losing track because I'm going crazy. But I had my one week post-op appointment yesterday. Oh my gosh. Hi, sweetie. Go. Oh, yeah, it's good. Well, yeah. You want to play with mama? All right, let's blow dry some hair. Okay, yes, Hunter needs to blow dry my hair. We'll see where the day takes us. Oh, you found something electronic. Good girl, dad, dad. Okay, so I'm having Hunter do this because, like, I can't do this. <laughs> okay, so do you feel my extension? I need you to go in uh -huh. and pull my real hair okay. away from my extension. You see that yeah. separation? Yeah, sure. Okay, <laughs> come on, baby. And then what? Okay, now see the hair you're holding? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna flip my head upside down. <laughs> yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> What do you mean? Flip your head upside down. I just oh, grab it and thrust? What are you talking about? Flip your head upside down. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, because I have- That set of instructions no, is incredibly I... Oh, stop! Okay, sorry, sorry. No, because I have to flip because the... I need it to be voluminous. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. Go. No! You blow dry it from under me. What do you mean? I, I, oh, back here. You idiot. Oh, Keep wow. it I hope they heard that. No, upside down. Like this. Why? No, let it fly. Just let it fly. What? Oh. Just let it fly? Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm so good at that. Okay. Do I need to flip your head around? How do you know what's wet and what's dry? Hunter, it's obvious. Okay, I'll hold that. No. Oh. Okay. Cool, that makes sense. Mother fudger. Mother fudger. Okay, oh. Ready? oh my gosh. Okay, now. Okay, now. This? Yep. Needs to be blow dried. And you're gonna blow dry it down because we want it just straight. Like, okay. yes. Yep, got you. No! Strategically! Like, no, you just move it like this. Like this. Like. Oh, got it. No, no. You're really not on. I'm really, I have no idea. I've never had one of those. Like, Oh yeah. 
All right, so that's safe. So sorry you're We're having done. to witness this, Blakely. You're doing a good job, honey, kind of. I'm knocking this out of the freaking park. Okay, now we need to do this side more. Okay. Is that me? Trust okay. me. Okay, now this is the hardest part, so I'm gonna okay. flip. All right. Now we don't want to blow dry the root down at all. All right. But from like here down, mm -hmm. we now need to blow dry down. Still down. To get it to like. <gasps> you said that like it was a new thing. Down this time. It's all been down. <gasps> I'm in so much pain. You're with me too. Oh, things are not well. I think Holy we did shit. it. Can you please? I, I need you to brush my hair now, please. I can't even move one more muscle. I'm in so She's extremely upset that I took her brush. Oh, honey, I'm in a lot of pain. Okay. <gasps> no, no, no. Remember, we start at the bottom. Oh, gosh. Give me the brush. No, 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 no. I'm doing so good. Okay. That uh, section's done. All right, I think you're good. Okay, it's all been brushed. Now, do I pull the hair? No. I'm trying to understand. I'll take care of you. You're okay. You're all right. You're all right. I'll be gentle. We're almost done. You're okay, you're okay. Oh, you, you look like freaking Goldilocks. You've never looked prettier, babe, I promise. And when I say I'm done, I mean it. I love you. You did so, so good. This so is the worst experience, but you did the best You're telling me. Oh, that's so sad. Co-star of the House of Hughes wanted to rush back to Sarah, but he just woke up from a nap. So... Did you just call me the co-star? Yeah, like you're, you're, the, you're like half, maybe a little less than half of the star. Really, the real star is... No, me. But here is Bubba's. So Beckham just woke up from a nap, and he literally he hates really you right now. Literally, like thirty seconds ago. And so we're doing a little bit of core work before he eats, because when he eats, he throws up, and occasionally we run the risk of him throwing up on my head, because that's where he rests his head during this exercise. But he loves this, so we'll kind of show you guys having some fun. Bubba's, remember, you can't dig into my eye or my ears or my face. Okay. Those are the only rules. Good job. Good job. You're doing so good. Good job. Good job. Come on. Come on. Okay, you ready? We're going back. We're going back. Good job. Oh, I lost him. Lost him. Okay, you ready? We're doing one more. So he loves this and he's literally never grumpy because, you know, like I said, he just woke up. Whoa. <laughs> okay, you ready? We're going inside. <laughs> okay, on your side. On your side. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Whoa, you silly boy. Whoosh. All right, guys, little update. Wifey asks, because she can't really move, Quest Chips, three chocolate macarons, whenever you can, literally zero rush. It can be in minutes. So that's what we're dealing with. Zero rush means I have up to minutes to complete the task instead of seconds like normal. I feel relieved that this is a slower order, so I can kind of take my time. All right, filming this took one minute, so I better get on it. Why can I take the oats? I don't know. I just wasn't vibing with the vanilla protein in them. Wait, it's did you put fair life in there? <laughs> I don't know, they were icky. Awesome. But awesome. I love awesome. you so much and I'm so grateful no, for you. I'm grateful for you. Yay! Hey guys. Okay, so here's the tea. I'm in a little bit of pain today. I washed my hair and that was probably a mistake. Not in terms of like, I wasn't allowed to wash my hair. I did double check with my surgeon that that was okay but it just has made me so sore. I like seriously feel like I can't move. So I am binge watching The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills right now, and I am not mad about it. Hunter set up this adorable little pillow situation for me, and he's waiting on me hand and foot. Hi, baby. Your order's almost done, just so you know. Wait, I appreciate wait it. hold on. I need to get, get in frame here. Hello, Hunter. I just wanted to let you know that your order is almost done. So I appreciate you giving me minutes on this order. Thank you. <laughs> okay, did you watch my clip? No, is it funny? Yeah, go back and watch it. Okay, well. This made this will make sense after that if you edit it properly. Otherwise, I'll like The Lakers! <laughs> oh, baby! Bring her in! Oh! Ugh. Honestly, you guys, the absolute worst part of all of this has been not being able to hold my kids. 
like I literally I have to remember that this was all worth it every time I can't pick up one of them like it's so freaking sad like Beckham will literally like convulse asking me to pick him up and I'm just like oh my gosh this is so freaking sad but I really need to take it easy I've just kind of been like a little bit out of control with like not doing too much that I'm gonna hurt myself but I just feel really good and so then you know it gets later in the day and I'm like oh my gosh I'm so sore so and I don't want to take medicine I mean I'm not against taking medicine at all but I just like don't want to like take it if I don't need it you know so I'm just trying to like freaking chill and I'll keep you updated so I grabbed Rachel's three chocolate macaroons starts belligerently screaming oh she so I'm gonna let Rachel give, her, give it to her baby <gasps> baby come here okay. Blakely come here baby Dare go princess. You guys, these are like literally her favorite ah! things. Is she smiling? Yes, she's so excited. Wait, do you know how to get up? Jeez. Lakers. Good recovery. Queen? Is that <laughs> Nummy? She's so happy. Alright. Oh. Here is your order. You are a king. Oh, I think I need a napkin for those, honey. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Here is a coaster, and it's the best we're going to do. All right, bye. Love you. You guys are the best. Oh, you know what you need? You need me to open that damn bag. I miss ya. Oh, I yeah. If you could please open this. Also, no cursing on this channel, Hunter. You could bring me that damn bag. Just, like, change the audio. Hi, beautiful. Where'd she go? I'm getting a call. <gasps> How'd you get in here again? Oh, could you turn on my Christmas tree? No. Okay, love you. Love you. She might need another bottle. She has a half a full one. Okay, love you. Sounds like I'm shocking her. <laughs> like in one of those like action movies where who oh, no. knew? Ah! Bye-bye. <laughs> 
hill. <laughs> he crawled up onto this all by himself. But you want to work out? Oh my gosh, I wonder if we could put the gait trainer on this. <laughs> Just have him walk. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. What you doing? What you doing? disaster of Hunter trying to blow dry my hair. He actually did a really, really good job. Honey, I'm so, so proud of you. But it just like blew my mind that he literally had like no concept of how to blow dry someone's hair. I don't know, maybe I'm just weird and I blow dry my hair weird, but he's so cute and has literally done so many things like that to try and help me. But really quick, before I get any further into the video, before I give you guys an update on my pain, my one week post-op appointment with my doctor, I want to say thank you so much to Lily Silk for sponsoring a portion of this video. This is the incredible pajama set that I am currently in. It is so incredible, you guys. Like I said in my intro, I don't think I've ever put something on my body that's just like so silky and soft. Of course, this is made of silk and it just feels like I'm not wearing anything. It feels so light. And I love the fact, obviously, that it has a button up top because that has made it so easy for me to be able to dress myself. They sent me this adorable outfit. I will go ahead and insert a clip here of you guys being able to see me in it entirely. Also gave me a beautiful black night dress that's like a nightgown that's also a button up so it's so easy for me to get it on and off by myself which has been amazing Obviously, since I've been post-surgery, I just kind of feel like a little bit of a disaster. But when I put these sets on, you guys, or even like that beautiful dress, the material is just so silky and luxurious. Like you can just tell that it is pricey and expensive and it is definitely made that way. It's great for sensitive skin, which obviously my skin right now is really, really sensitive. And I know that a lot of you guys have sensitive skin. So this is a really, really great option. It makes such a fabulous Christmas gift. I was thinking this is something so nice to get like your mom or your mother-in-law or maybe like your best girlfriend if I have any boys watching which there's very very few of you but this would be like an incredible gift for like your wifey your girlfriend one of the reasons that I agreed to partner with this company is because they're very environmentally conscious which is obviously so important in the world today they've actually partnered with TerraCycle and they are committed to a zero waste production they only use 
100% natural premium materials. That's one of the reasons that their silk is so incredibly soft and smooth. As you guys know, not all silk is created equal. And when you purchase from Lily Silk, you guys are getting the best of the best. Not only were they sweet enough to send me over a couple pieces to wear as pajamas while I recover from my surgery, they also sent me things to help me sleep, which you guys, I can't even tell you how much this has helped because obviously I've had to lay on my back, which has been terror, but this has definitely made it a little bit better. So one of the things that they sent me was an eye mask. You guys, I promise you have never felt an eye mask like this. I can't even describe how soft and silky the material is. It's made of the exact same material as my pajamas. And they were also kind enough to send over a pillowcase and they were so sweet. It literally matches my bed, oh my gosh. So this is a silk pillowcase, which is obviously incredible for your hair. And as you guys know, I have extensions and I also have very fine thin hair. So I have to be really careful with how I sleep on my hair if I don't want it to break off or cause any more additional damage. And this pillowcase is just so luxurious. I feel like it's really, really helped me. And it's just helped me sleep better and be more relaxed and feel way more put together throughout my entire recovery process. So thank you again to Lily Silk for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link down below for you guys to shop through. So that that way it's easy for you guys to purchase any of their products if you wanna buy any as Christmas gifts or go ahead and just spoil yourself this holiday season. All right, let's go ahead and just like dive into how everything is going. I wanna give you guys like a little update on the recovery process. Hunter, super dad, is out there playing with the kiddos. So if you guys can like hear them, I'm super sorry, but you guys know we've got little kiddos around all the time. But I wanted to sneak in here, give you guys a quick little update. So as you guys know, I had my post-op appointment yesterday and it went incredible. I got to go to my surgeon's office in person and he looked at everything to see how I was healing and checked up on me to see how my recovery has been. And he also called me twice throughout the week, once the night of my surgery and then once two days post-op just to check in on me, give me some instructions on what I should and shouldn't be doing and he said that everything is healing absolutely beautifully which I already suspected because everything looks like it's healing quite nicely and honestly I have had literally I swear to you the best recovery that anyone has ever had from a breast lift and breast augmentation I think that a couple things are the reason for that one you guys know this is my second augmentation and I haven't had like the same pressure that I had previously because like my sockets were already created and I was going smaller not bigger so I think that contributed to it and I also think that my surgeon was just like an artiste I felt so good about going with him and obviously I 100% stand by that decision and I think that he just did a very meticulous, incredible, miraculous job. And I just have really not felt much pain, but I will go more in depth on that for you guys when I do a post-op Q and A, which will be up in the next video or two, hopefully. And that will go into depth on all of the questions that you guys have, which I'm sure you'll have a lot about the recovery process itself. My surgeon told me that as of right now, I'm able to sleep on my back or my side, which <laughs> freaking out about that. But I tried to sleep on my side last night and just like where the mesh bra has been sewn in internally, I, it's just like too much pressure. It just hurts a little bit too badly. So I did have to sleep on my back again. Hopefully I can transition to my side soon, but right now I'm still sleeping on my back. And then he told me that I can do very, very light exercise in terms of like walking. I cannot do any resistance training whatsoever with my upper body, but he said I could totally walk on the treadmill at the gym, go on walks outside. He also said that it's like safe for me to like lift my arms, even though it's not comfortable per se. It's okay for me to do that, but not repetitively. And then obviously there can't be any weight at all. But like he told me it was okay that I like washed my hair today, which I did that on my own. I'm so freaking proud. I will probably have Hunter help me with the next round because I'm feeling pretty sore today on my right side. And I think that's from washing my hair and like scrubbing it and having my arms up for like maybe a little bit too long. So sorry, there's kind of some construction going on outside my house. There's sometimes there's just some background noise and I'm really sorry about that, you guys. But overall, 
everything is going great and my next appointment is four weeks post-op so that's three weeks from today and I will be going back up in person and there is tape on my incisions that tape is going to be removed if it hasn't fallen off already and he's just gonna take a look at how everything is healing and then update me on like what my restrictions are with like movement lifting etc I just couldn't be happier with how everything is going and I will continue to keep you guys updated but I wanted to just of course give you guys some info on how my one week post-op went I hope you guys also enjoyed seeing the cute little babies today. I love you guys and appreciate you so, so much for watching. I know that some of this content has been a little bit different than what I usually have on the channel, but I'm trying to include the kids as much as I can because I really wanted to be able to like vlog this time with my family. And I'm really grateful for you guys letting me do that and kind of letting you in on what I'm personally doing. But of course I couldn't just ignore the fact like, hey, I can't hold the kids. I want to show them to you, but like I'm also a sitting duck. So I appreciate you guys for being so supportive and loving. If you guys haven't yet, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really does help my channel when you guys like the videos, if you've enjoyed watching them. And don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below. Join the family. We'd love to have you here at the House of Hughes and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.